Good morning, everyone. Welcome back to The Breakfast Club. First of all, I would like to apologize for the audio in the last video. I'm not going to name any names here, but somebody might have forgot to plug the mic into the camera. Who was that? It was me. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, we definitely made sure the mic was turned on, but I forgot to actually plug it into the camera. So <laughs> everything is rocking and rolling this time, so yeah. it should be a lot better. We got a checklist. <laughs> We're down to a science now. So it's all good. Okay. Yes. <laughs> all right. Um, start off. What's up, Wolverine? Uh, what's been going on this last week? Uh, we actually had our Ipsic match finally, <laughs> so that was nice. Uh, we had that this past last Sunday. It was a good match. Uh, we had a good turnout. A lot of guys, you know, they traveled up to four hours away just to get out here. So it's uh, the first one since 1999 in uh, in Verdon here. So we're hoping to have quite a few more and get that cycle back going because a lot of guys around here shoot it and we do a lot of traveling to get to matches. So having one here is, uh, is a huge benefit for us. So. Right on. Yeah. All right, uh, in other things that are going on here, basically a lot of us are really busy right now preparing for Wolverine Days. Yes. Um, for those of you who aren't familiar with Wolverine Days, it's our annual open house and range event. Uh, this event has really taken off in the last few years, so it's a two-day range event and open house. We get usually around 800 to 1,000 people that uh, come from... I don't know how coast far. to coast. Yeah. Uh, last year we had some guys out from Vancouver, BC, and we we also actually had a, a couple folks from PEI. So yeah, it's literally crazy. coast um, to coast. We try to really talk to a lot of the people who are here just to find out where they came from. You know how they heard about the event. It always surprises us how you know the support that we get from all of our all of our community, not just the local community, but yeah. people near and far. So. We really appreciate that, and we hope that we get some people coming back. Um, it's a great event. Not only do we have uh, lots of in-store like promotions and stuff that way, but on the range, I think last year we had over a hundred different um, firearm stations up there. Yeah. I guess not stations, but a hundred different firearms to try out, ranging in calibers from 22 to 50 cal. Um, the great thing about this event is that it's really a great opportunity for new shooters as well as experienced ones. Um, you don't have to have a license to participate. Uh, we have range staff that are working one-on-one -on -one which, with each individual at each station. So if you're someone out there who has kind of had an interest in shooting sports but never, you know, you didn't really know how to approach it or get into it, this is the perfect weekend. You can try out pretty much anything you've ever imagined and really get a taste of the community and what shooting sports is all about. Yeah, like Andrea said, if, if you're not uh, familiar with firearms, the guys out on the range, they're all uh, <clears throat> well versed in what they're what they're going to be showing you so it's a safe environment it's it's kid friendly family friendly yeah. so bring on the whole family it's a lot of fun and you get to experience uh something that you might not get get to experience every day right so yeah for sure and not only just firearms we also this last couple of years as we've gotten into archery we're going to have yeah. a nice archery setup as well so you can try out some different bows that way um another big component is that we're going to have a ton of different manufacturer reps here yes um, so if you have any questions on products it's the perfect weekend to get those questions answered get your hands on some products that you might have wanted to test out just a few quick names that we're gonna have reps here from include Barrett, Daniel Defense, uh, Blazer, Beretta, Browning, Benelli, Seiko, Tika, Remington, PSE Archery, Prime Archery, Zeiss, Vortex. I know that there's so many more. Massive list. There's so many. <laughs> um, so I'm sure I'm forgetting a ton, but uh, we have a website page that you can get more information on. It's just wolverinesupplies.com slash wolverine days, uh, dash wolverine dash days. Uh, plus Facebook, we have a event on there. Yeah. We'll be posting updates to all our social media outlets as well. So if you can, come out. It'll be a great weekend. Big part of uh, Wolverine Days as well is uh, the charity we do. Right. Yes. So there's a, a massive <laughs> component part, of yeah. it. Yeah, we is... don't have all those details quite ironed out yet, but yes, Tyson. <laughs> Sorry. We do. Uh, it kind of started out as something for the online community, but it has turned into so much more than that. Um, every year we do this patch promo uh, where we have these unique um, morale patches that we'll sell online, and they kind of act as your entries into a draw for some amazing prizes. We get a ton of support from our manufacturer reps uh, to create those prizes. And then all the proceeds from this promotion get donated to a different charitable organization each year. So last year we were able 
to donate, I believe it was $20,000 to STARS Air Ambulance, which was huge. And um, this year, I think we're trying to go bigger than that, but we are going to be splitting the proceeds between the CCFR and uh, Ronald McDonald House Charities. Yeah. So we're really excited about that. As soon as we have the final details figured out on that, we will be definitely uh, getting those details out to you as well. You bet. Sorry to put you on the spot. <laughs> no, we are working on a couple of the last few things, but you know, there's a few of us that keep changing our minds. So <laughs> that'll happen. No. We're herding cats. We're getting it done. <laughs> we're almost there. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah. It's time. Okay. So, um, so I guess women's conference. Yeah. To touch on that. Um, obviously, uh, everyone's going to be aware of the last video here. The whole rumor mill ban that whole negative part of uh, our industry uh, that's been going on right now. The Women's Conference has now, when this video is uh, up and done, has uh, come and gone and nothing was really announced from Trudeau. So we're breathing a little bit easier, but we're still not resting easy. Uh, there is a lot, of, a lot of negativity coming from the current governing body and Primarily, Bill Blair and Ralph Goodale are not uh, not letting this one go. So we're not uh, we're not sure exactly what's going on. We're still staying on our toes. But if anything comes down the pipe, we'll definitely let you know. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. All right. And as we normally do, we'd like to just show you a couple products that we got in this last week. So we will start off with. We have this guy, Schmidt and Bender 6x42 Classic, uh, A7 Reticle. So it's a Schmidt and Bender in an affordable price range, which yeah. is nice. <laughs> so this is actually a wicked optic. It's a fixed six power. So if you're going for more of a traditional optic, uh, this is a excellent match for that. Uh, a simple hunting rifle, but you're getting Schmidt and Bender optics for clear under a thousand bucks. So it's uh, <laughs> clear under, funny. <laughs> it's, yeah. <laughs> Sorry, it, it's a wicked optic. Uh, check it out at the link below. There will be a few details there, but you're getting, like I said, Schmidt and Bender, so German quality glass, and you're not having to, you know, spend a couple of G's just to get there, right? So it's a, it's definitely, if you're going for a simple hunting rifle, that's the way to do it. Right on. Okay, and our other one that we have sitting here, not sure how well you guys can see this little guy. Yeah, <laughs> um, tiny little thing. <laughs> the Aimpoint Acro P1, it's yeah. three and a half MOA red dot. Yeah, this little thing. So it was launched last year and they're really starting to come out this year. So the Acro is basically a tiny little indestructible red dot. <laughs> there is so many cool things about it. Like the battery life is insane. It's one and a half years at full power, basically. Uh, you can drop this thing 82 feet underwater and she's still good. Uh, it's fully enclosed. It comes with mounting plates for like everything. It's primarily made for pistols. That's what his uh, primary intention was. But uh, it comes with a... It doesn't come with, sorry, it has available mounting plates for tons of different pistols. So if you have a modular optic system on a handgun, there's probably a plate for this Acro. So it's definitely a, uh, a wicked one to consider. Perfect. Okay. Um, didn't get a ton of questions, but we do have a few comments slash questions that we'll address here. Um, we had a YouTube comment, really would like to see hands-on review and coverage of these firearms. I can come to the shop and just look, the devil's in the details. Very true. Um, however, as we've mentioned before, this series isn't going to be the one that we really dive into those hands-on takedowns, firearms reviews yeah. type sort of thing. We do want to do that, and we are planning to do that. It probably won't be till later in the summer, July, mid late July. We're just we have a lot going on with Wolverine Days and other events going on around here, so yeah. it is in the plans, but it won't happen for a while. And we hope that we are reaching people that potentially maybe can't just come into the store so we do want to exactly. show off a few products every video to those of the, those of you that can't make it out here yeah we could go in depth but uh each video would be very specific like if we are going into that kind of detail right so we're trying to get a broad spectrum of everything that's been happening what's Weekly going update. on and exactly uh we hope to have more content for you shortly though yeah and then we have one from andrew lachapelle so does Ty wake up with his hair like that, or is it a process to get those locks so perfectly placed? <laughs> I wake up like this, this is just, yeah. I don't know, you were late last week to getting here, so I maybe... <laughs> you said we were starting the lunch club. <laughs> okay. okay, and last but not least, uh, go for Grim Reaper on YouTube. Any timeline when the high-capacity orange mugs will be back in stock? Yeah, is there? <laughs> 
Thank you for the reminder. <laughs> I will look into that and uh, see if I can get a timeline. I don't have one off the top of my head right now. But we I don't even have them anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I want my mug. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Anyways, they should be coming, I would say, probably by July. They'll be back in stock. So right. as soon as they are, we'll let you know. <clears throat> Okay, uh, that's all we got for questions and comments. Anything from you? No, that's basically her. Um, we've got, oh, a busy month ahead of us here getting ready for Wolverine Day, so we're gonna keep hammering away with these videos. We're definitely gonna bring you some new, new and cool stuff. Yeah. And that's basically it from us. All right, thanks for watching. Don't forget about us.